eating like kings out in the woods. Crawfish, turtle. I'm Zachary Fowler, and that's Chris Thorne. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Texas. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. <sighs> Good morning. I overslept. I kind of went into like a coma of sleep. I don't know what happened. I had my alarm set for 5.30. I was going to get up. I found out last minute that the sling bow is not considered legally as a bow, so during archery season it is not viable. I can still use it on a boar and things like that at night time. You know, if we're out, set up a blind and get a chance to get a boar as nuisance animals. So, that was a disappointment. And now, I just missed half of my chance. <sighs> but it's a new day. And it's only day two. So lots to do, lots to go on. Get on with it. Put my socks over the tops of my boots. Because there are critters around here you do not want to find in your boots in the morning. Like black widows, scorpions, any other creepy crawlies. Protected the tops of my boots. I slept good in this thing. You gotta get the knives on. Whenever people ask me something if I want it for a video or you know, I'm like, uh, you have it in orange? <laughs> See if they uh, manage to keep any coals. I banked the fire last night. Or I just restart it. Something to get these coals going and then I can feed it with some wood. Oh, he's got some sort of an organic fire starter in here. Look at that. Look at the bushcraft. It appears to be a all kinds of goodie going on. I got some birch bark, some natural fiber sticking out here, and a little string bundle and all the... In the middle of the little organic bundle of stuff is like a wax cupcake. Boom, whoa, that goes up fast. Yeah, it'll burn for like 12 minutes. What you got going on over here, gear guy? I'm using the Iono Survival Axe to uh, hammer in a few nails so I can get my bug out roll. And here in a minute, we're gonna have our main 10 liter water bag um, hung up to the tree. So we basically just make uh, some uh, modern day shelves. Let's get all that kit. You got a little bit of. All of his stuff is in the nice little organizer. Oh man, these things are full. Would you look at that? Oh, there's a good pound there of crawdads. That'll make a nice lunch. We'll leave them in here for now, keep them fresh. We're gonna be boiling it, so I probably don't need to do this, but uh thing works pretty good and pretty quickly, so one for the stew pot and one for me to drink. Some may consider this a cheat, but I got my favorite coffee. We didn't bring calories, but we did, I did at least, bring coffee. And get our soup on. All right, got some building materials. Sitting on the ground was nice enough last night, but I want a nice cozy chair. So we're gonna build a bushcraft Adirondack chair. Not really, it's just gonna be a chair. But it's gonna be nice, and I even found a few good, on some of these, I see, I got a nice little slingshot. Yeah. For those of you that purchased them on the Kickstarter to have a handmade slingshot by me, there it is, there's one of them. I'll whittle this up while I'm sitting around the fire at night.
there, done. <laughs> no, it's not done. I gotta add two pieces going back. rich broth take that off let it cool have ourselves some breakfast every last drop there we go cozy seat I was worried about it sinking in because this Texas soil is so soft I need a cup holder for my I need a table I need an end table for my for my chair, I have an end table. Do a little journaling, have my coffee, and a cup of crawdad soup, and get at it. Dear Diary, it's only day two, and we're learning so much about each other. Like, Chris isn't a morning person. He should drink coffee. I wonder if he'd notice if I slipped some into his breakfast. Nah. It wouldn't go well with the crawdad soup. All right, we're all geared up. We're gonna head up the trail to where we had packed in from. We left a couple more things up there. Bows mainly are what we are all about this afternoon. Flint, look at that. Nice little piece. I can make something with that later. I am certainly no legless. I hung up my bow when I picked up the slingshot and was hoping that I'd be able to use the sling bow as a bow here. I was a little bit ready for that. Not ready for saying, them telling us that I cannot do that during archery season. It's not considered to be a actual bow. So it's been over three years since I hung up the bow or two and a half years since I hung up the bow and decided to be a slingshot man. He's back there vlogging me on his for his video we can get this because I, I can edit it out and make it look like I hit it the first time but then he'll put the true story on so you can go watch it on his channel if I really hit it in the first shot or not miss there I'm gonna practice some more then we got other stuff to do after I see this guy Show me up from twice the distance. These are worth more than gold out here. These are absolute precious metals, even though they're made of carbon fiber. So right now we're at 20 yards, and uh, we're just gonna pick a few dots and see how close we get. A little low, but that's still being the vitals. That'll do the job, right there. <sighs> All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I got the technique down now. 45, draw and release right as I come into position and stay within 10 yards, give or take five or 10 feet, and I won't be just wounding things. Some broadheads on. Oh, there goes another deer right in front of us. We're talking too much already. I'm trying to get down and sit there for the witching hour when it's the best time of night. Turkey's right down here. All right, no success with the hunting. And I'm going to go down here. The water's like five feet away right here. Hoping to get something more to eat than uh, all those crawfish that we caught earlier and stuff. I got uh, crawfish for bait, and I got my collapsible rod, and some catfish bait and stuff like that. See if I can't make something happen. We are back. 
got skunked on the deer hunting and or turkey hunting on the last day of season and uh, did not catch any fish down by the water. There's still some sparks on this thing. I don't know if I can get it going though. So that's all the crawdad leftovers. Put it in a have a hard trap. Hopefully we can catch ourselves something. Then we can eat something more than just crawdads. Wham. What a nice haul. How to see. Look at that. That's even more than I was in there earlier today. All right, so my bobber just went under. I seen something. I think we got something here. I definitely got something. Oh, what we is got, it? We got a turtle. No way. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he took the bait. He took it. Amazing. I got it. I got a turtle. Woo! Look at that. Beautiful. I think that these, if I'm right, this is like a red-eared slider. All right, turtle, it was all processed up. Looks just like meat. Sound like the wooded beardsman when I say that. <laughs> we got it in there with some water, chupacabra seasoning, and we saved the livers. We're gonna use those to catch catfish. Let's put it on to cook. All right, wow. Would you look at that bounty of crawfish? There's gotta be, I don't even know how many pounds of crawfish in there today. That's a good four or five pounds. Yeah, that's a good pile of crawfish. A good size portion for each of us. Here you go, buddy. Thanks. So. Feast up. There we go. Oh, I am ready to feast. Oh, I say some grace. Lord, thank you for this food, this crawfish, and the turtle. Amen. Oh. Wow. Like, the only thing that would make this better is just a big bowl of butter that these were just drowned in. Drowned? Yep, drowned. It's that late. <laughs> what time is it, anyway? Ah, uh, it's midnight. What? Holy cow. So we pretty much just went midnight to midnight eating. We did have <coughs> breakfast was uh, crawd, crawdad body soup that we, it was leftovers from the night before. So tomorrow morning's breakfast will be the same. We'll cook up the crawdad bodies. All right, turtle is done. Cooked up. Nice and good. And a little bit of soup broth there at the bottom. I will definitely not be wasting that. I'll be drinking that down for sure. In fact, I already started some soup broth here with the crawfish. So I'll just add that to it. Just make it all the richer. Eating like kings out in the woods. Crawfish, turtle. I'm loving it. It just tastes like meat. I was expecting it to taste more like turtle. Whatever that was supposed to be. Right? I actually meant to say frog. <coughs> um, but, yeah, it just tastes like meat. The dark meat. <laughs> Do you want a wing or a leg? Found a wishbone in the turtle. There's a turtle wishbone. Hi. All right, I am in snug as a bug in my rug, <laughs> in my hammock. Oh. Finished eating, and then I took out another have a heart trap and set it back that way about a quarter of a mile away from us and uh, put some tuna in it which I'm glad I did that after eating because that tuna actually smelled pretty darn good even though all those crawfish and turtle I ate it was just oh it smelled good and hopefully those have a heart traps turn us up something that we can turn into a meal this is survival 
So within the legal ranges, we're doing that. Whatever it takes. Possum, raccoon, even skunk if we have to. Eesh. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Fowler out.